What's up, guys? This is. I already found out I broke one of my phones too. Yeah, not cool, not cool at all. But all right, guys. So I've got a Tiagra 130 that we are downspooling. Customer wants me to check it out, so I've got to. Are you doing the tournament this weekend? Uh, no. No. We're up here. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let me go grab my other phone so I can see what's going on there. How much was the real cover? Uh, 30 bucks on Ferry. I think it was just like his last one that he had in stock. And then, and then he restocked. So. There's nothing like this one. Yeah, that one's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, that's from Jacked Up Leatherworks right there. So. And got a thumbs up. Got four people watching. Let's see. All right, let's go and get this sorted. So with this one, I'm wondering which spool I will need so I can ensure I got a big enough spool. That should be, definitely be enough. See, because the thing with downspooling is I don't want to go with too big of a spool because then it, it won't allow me to downspool the way I need to. If it does, I have to reconfigure the whole system. And then they get super heavy too. So, yeah, we're good right here. What's up, Toby? Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> Ain't missing a few more thumbs up there, that's for sure. Good morning, guys. Today is the start of the tournament, but I am running so far behind right now. So I've got, I was actually trying to get some um, video footage this morning, but the customer beat me to the bunch, which is all right, you know? <laughs> Let's see, let me make sure. So what he's having me do is down spool this reel to double check all the knots and make sure everything's good to go. So, because you, you bought this second hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, third hand, second hand. Okay. So, he's just ensuring it's ready for him when he does go fishing. So, let's go ahead and knock this out for him. And I figure it'll be a nice little question and answer time. So, yeah. We got six of y'all watching. Who's all on board this morning? Quick little check in if y'all don't mind. That is, I think, I, I, don't, I haven't seen a 130 on your channel. Mm, yeah, we well not for well yeah we have downspooled. Um, I've, I've only seen an 80. I really don't want well, we don't have many. I think we only have like two or three videos with the 130, but all of them have different kind of setups. Like one one of them, we did nothing but 200 pound tests on it. Um, another one, it was 200 with mono, and you know it, it just. Every single one of them helps because we don't have many at all. Not like the 80 Abbots. Like, I've got probably two. I, I look up Abbots and your videos are like the first results. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's what I've been working for. Is that we're going to be the first source of uh, knowledge right there. So. Uh, Abbott, 130, Abbott, 80, 80. Yeah, that, that makes me feel good right there. That really does, guys. They're looking, man, they, they barely even fit on the, the camera right here, so. Okay, we are, ooh, they got a hollow core splice here. I'm going to go ahead and check that since I'm already here. They did it the with the, um, the deal that spins around. That is real clean. That is real clean. I like that. Have you, have you seen it yourself or anything? No, I bought it as it is, and it was bought online, so I don't know. I didn't want to downspool it and, and mess up, like, the line twisting it or something like that. Yeah. The only thing I would have done a little better is taper right here in this point. See how it, it's, yeah. it's real abrupt? That'd be yeah, the... Quick. Yeah, but watch this. We can actually open it up, push it through. And I'll taper it real quick since I'm already here instead of going to it. Well, it looks like they may have tapered it. 
Yeah, they attempted to taper it. You can see how it's it's like that. I'll just taper it just a little more, guys. Let me get my, I got some sandpaper over here. <laughs> well, they they have improved them. Um, like it's basically almost like a, a senator's kind of clicker. Oh wow! All it's right. It's kind of loud when you're reeling. Them. Oh, nice. They don't sound like a senator. Sound like fifteen scratches. Uh huh. What's up, Toby? David? Yes, sir. Miguel, what's up, brother? How's everybody doing this morning? What I'm doing, guys, is trying to give them a little bit. For, they had a taper to it, but I'm trying to bring it just a little bit more. So it, it, it um, will go on a little smoother. It's kind of hard when you go from braid to super thick mono like this. Um, I'm just... It's just a little more, guys. Also, too, what it does, it creates a little more grip here. It's not so smooth off the braid. So. But, yes, I'm excited, excited. I probably get to go shark fishing. Woohoo! I'm ready. Not ready, but I'm ready to go. I'm not ready to go <laughs> because I still got some reels I got to go through. Um, all my 80s are done. That's the one good thing. My 130 is done. I just got to double check my HXW Raptors. I'm going to take a couple of LXs. Possibly the... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do the LX, but I'm going to put it on that 14-foot rod so I continue my testing of throwing the braid. And, yeah, that's looking a lot better. Yes. Yes. Yeah, since we improved the real seat on it. And no, it's something else. It's, um, I forget what he told me, and I've asked him like multiple <laughs> times, and yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I forget sometimes too with Nick's rods. Like, it's so many letters and names. Yep, yep. Like and with Avids, I kind of get lost in the sizes. Mm hmm. MXL, HXL, yeah, HXL. see how it tapers a little better. It's not so abrupt when yeah. it comes up. That's it's not a quick like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 90 degrees. I mean, they were on it. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. That's for sure. Give them that. Yeah, because the first person who owned it was a shark fisherman. I don't know his name. I don't know his name 100%. Mm -hmm. well, they, they did a good, good job. I'll have to give them that. Nice long splice on there and glued well. I don't see any looseness on it, so that's nice. Okay. And Joe, what's up, what's up? All right, I'm glad my, my comments are finally starting to come through. Um, oh, no. The other day when I was live, I could not um, See the comments as y'all were posting them. I had to refresh it not once but like twice. So I don't know if it was the phone, but I'm definitely going to get that checked out soon. It'll probably have to be wait till next week because today I've got a couple of errands. I got multiple errands I got to run, and then also too I've got to do some spooling on my reels, double checking, just making sure my braid is good to go. And I need to put my phone up where I can see it a little easier. Hello, it's right there. Well, that's too high. I want it down low. Sorry, guys. I'm shaking the camera on y'all. Let's see. Let me do this. All right. There we go. Is that a little better? All right. Cool. What's up, Ken? How you doing? Morning, morning. Uh, okay. 
And for my next trick, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see. What is that? No, oh, okay. Thought I was already going to see a piece of the braid from when the manufacturer is sticking out right there. What's everybody's plans for this weekend? What y'all got going, guys? some damage and I need to find a spot let's see <laughs> this reel is super smooth bro I can give you that it um it was still spinning after I, I stopped so whoever had it did really take care of it Yeah, Joe, give us a call here at the shop. Um, that way when, oh, after the live video, please, because I'm the only one here. And we can look in your paperwork and see what the report is and status on your reels. I know um, a box of habits went out yesterday for us. I just haven't been able to sit down and get to my email to confirm what reels are coming in and so forth. So I'll do it as soon as we get off the live. See, I, I don't take that away from Shimano, but my first encounters with Shimano with the 50 and the 80 was that they couldn't break my surf weights loose there uh, from a thousand yards out. And I was only using the one and a quarter pound surf weight, which is 20 ounces. And I'd already been dealing with my habits. And so I already knew that it, it could be done. It was, so I wasn't... Um, I mean, I was still looking for a reel that could do it better, but so far the Avids have been the only reel besides a Duel and a Finnor that could pull in my surf weights with no problem. Uh, granted, it, they got to drop them down in gear and and lock them over, and then also too it was the line capacity. I wasn't getting the, the crazy amount of line capacity that I will on the Avids, so that that's why. You know, it's not, it's not just one thing, it's multiple things that I'm looking at. And so, uh, for me, it, it was that. Oh, and the price point, too. Um, at the same time all of these were coming out, the Tiagras were 50 to to $100 more than the Avids. For the same, same reel, like the 80s, the 50s, the 30s, they were, they were more expensive, so were the Penn Internationals. So that was another reason. So... Um, whoa, what was that? What was that? Piece of something flew out. Or was that for me? Okay. I don't know. But let's see. Right now, I can't really check the braid for any phrase or anything, so I gotta wait till I get this all downloaded. But we will also be able to give him a line capacity because I know that's something that he does not want doesn't know but will you know definitely come in handy for him and, uh, whoa oh y'all y'all hear that man they they were really trying to stay away from that deal, and they got ooh, scary. Okay, so we're definitely taking off that tape. <sighs> Let's see. Let me show you all what he's got, guys. Oh, okay. There we go. So they've got some kind of, um, I guess it's the athletic tape here to create grip, which is a good idea. I just... I like my knots. I don't know if it's me like tying them or just not having knowing that I don't have any of this stuff like this when it comes to I have. 
they they are smooth that, that i do give it to them um i know with avid they the type of uh grease they choose to use on the reel is super 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 sticky and they do this so that way the, the it sticks to the gears even through the portion of reeling in and stuff like that so now i would say though if somebody were to do this tape if they're willing to go through that i would have covered that with the tape so it would never take a chance of catching it you know what i mean uh for the uh a little tie down screw or whatever so and you got a little bit of corrosion build up here but it's not much yet you see it right there right there yeah yeah um, starting to on this side um i used to have the clear coat nail polish the calcium and what i would do is i would uh, clean it out and i would coat it with that and that was a good way um magic marker works really well too so uh the permanent marker because it puts in some kind of layer right there yeah like a chemical yes 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 uh, all right jacked up leather works in the house yes if y'all are new to the channel guys that's one of our sponsors and he is donating a wallet a custom wallet to one of our winners so now we've gone from 16 winners to 17 winners and like i said i'm, I'm still in collaborations with some other sponsors waiting for them to confirm what they're going to be sending us and stuff like that so we can start putting their names in there and i need a blade oh i got a blade hello Happens to be. I'm really excited, guys, because there's a lot of shark fishermen out there that are going to be stopping by that I hadn't seen in a minute just because with the coronavirus and living out of town and stuff like that. So I'm excited. A lot of, a lot of good guys out there all willing to help each other out with knowledge or gear or just, you know, support. You know, it don't have to be from the same team, but they are on the same team when it comes to landing fish, you know, so. Is it stroker than regular braid? I um, mean stronger. Oh, okay, stronger. All right, so the deal with hollow core and solid braid. Hollow core is they got a, instead of having eight strands wove together, they have 16 or 12. So it gives it more, um, not thickness, but they divide it up better to where it's smoother on on the touch and feel side so if you think about this um as rope goes over the edge of a blade like say some thick um manila rope or whatever it's soup it's going to try to eat into the blade and it won't because the blade is metal well that's what the uh solid blade tries to do because it's so rough it's like sandpaper it tries to eat through the blade but it's going to end up losing faster since this is smooth it slides over the blade a little bit easier so it doesn't get cut off as easily that's one thing the other thing is stackability when you're going to fill up a reel it's a lot easier to um, put hollow core braid on there because you're basically stacking sheets of like towels or um, or linen you know on top of each other it, it squeezes out all the gaps and because of that you get more line capacity and let's see let me make sure which side i'm cutting is the right side yeah okay i gotta cut this in yep i was on the right one so now i could just slip the knot off and that's all that we lose and so because of that I like the hollow core, but I really love the hollow core because when I go and I get cut off, I can actually splice back in and save my braid. So when I go to adding on more braid to my spool, I actually maintain my spool line capacity vices um, uh, having to throw away a lot of braid because with solid braid, you end up having these knots. And here in Texas, we have we would normally have a super bad grass season and because of that 
I don't like knots in my system. But what I am gonna do here, well, no, I don't need to anymore because I figured that out. I was gonna use the tape to cover over that little uh, tie down point here, but I don't have to anymore because I created another way to do it. And I'm gonna show y'all right now. And yes, sir, the hollow core is amazing, 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 amazing line. And even then too, did you see the splice from the mono to the hollow core? Um, for the guys that fish offshore, they need mono top shots because braid doesn't have a backbone. None of the braids do. So as the, the leader or whatever's in the water, it starts to spin. And because it starts to spin, you get a lot of twist in your line. And when you get a lot of twist in your line, it just, it, it looks bad and it turns a, a hollow core into a solid braid. It doesn't allow it to lay flat like it should. So that's why they need it there. However, it's still a braid, guys. Don't don't think for a second like you're losing strength or anything like that. It, it doesn't really hurt it, but it still can. So that's why I try to keep mine as flat as possible, the way it's designed to be. Once you start getting a lot of twist in there, I try to untwist mine, and or I'll just cut that section out and start again. And it normally happens when you're throwing away out there. Uh, Pulling in real quick on a system like spinning reels, it, it'll create it if they don't have that little roller to allow the line to twist. So, let's see. <clears throat> oh, big time on the knot. Yep, when that big knot comes through, it's not really a huge knot, so you don't feel this big old <laughs> as it's coming through the guides or going out. So, you're less likely to have any guide damage. But that's the other th reason why I like, uh... okay, did you hear about the guy who caught a tag redfish and turned it in a red tag, but wasn't registered for the tournament, he was disqualified. Yep. No, I did not hear about that, but damn, that, that sucks. Uh, you're talking about for the star tournament, and was that here in, in Texas? The CCA or the the CCA, yeah, it's the CCA Star Tournament is what it is. Yeah. Um, I, I saw that one. Yep. Shoot, did you see the other one where the, the it was two guys, they caught two tag redfish, and they end up eating them. <laughs> uh, but also... Any tag fish, I want to record and take pictures of the tag so I, I can release it and then look back at it. Yeah. Well, uh, they caught two of them, and they were within the first five, so they would have got truck and trailer. Yeah. <laughs> after, that, after that post came up, I saw one on Facebook that said current image of the, the bay, and it was like a whole boat party. Oh. <laughs> after, after they the tag. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Everybody and their moms were out there. Morning, Roger. Where's he at? There he is. Yep, yeah, yep. What's up, what's up, guys? I am trying to get this all set up so I can go okay and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing here so that way y'all can see it oh it's gonna work out beautiful on this one I'm gonna get just a little bit more and I'll show you what I'm doing right here right here Alright, so since I did a hollow core splice, splice on the braid itself, I've used that double double ended braid right there and I have filled in the gap underneath right, that point right there. So now I don't have to worry about the braid catching it as I'm going left to right. So yes. Awesome! Hell yeah! Is it under Jacked Up Leatherworks, I'm assuming, for your YouTube channel? They're, uh Let's see. And actually, since it's up and running, go ahead and share the link so everybody can check it out because you got some awesome, awesome work. And I'm excited for my new wallet coming in as well. So that <laughs> Woo! I was going to wait, but I couldn't wait. Sorry, I spoiled, I spoiled the surprise. So. Oh. 
trying to head out and to kind of pack and throw some drugs some big speck of I've been seeing a lot of big specks being caught, which is awesome. Um, Packer Channel has been producing a lot of nice sized redfish as well. So that's a great thing too. Let me go ahead and get this off so I can go and get started. All right. Yeah, so we're gonna have another YouTube channel to throw a, some, some subscribers to so we can get that one up and running. And remember guys, um, hey, who has gone and, some, and subscribed to Team Rio Locos? They're about to hit 1,500 subs. And with him, as you notice, I do a lot of fishing with him. I'm learning a lot of the gar fishing from him and his team. And we are helping them get to their next goal. We're trying to help him get monetized. So um, please go through all his videos. Give him a shout out. You know, 1,500 subscribers. Something like that so he it knows it's coming from, from us over here. Um, and hold on just a second. I have my phone right now. I told them, no, I told them 10 o'clock to call me. They're, they're an outreach program that we normally buy plates from, but last time I bought eight plates thinking eight workers were going to show and only four showed up for the day, so we had four extra plates that nobody ate because everybody was full, and then they forgot them and left them here and it went to waste. So, yeah, I, don't, I love helping out the community. Don't get me wrong, guys, but at the same time, I can't be wasteful in any kind of money. And awesome awesome there it is guys there's jacked up leatherworks youtube channel be sure to throw him a sub let him know um and we do we've been working together for years and i've been i'm so happy i'm so happy jacob I'm so happy that you finally got in there swimming with the sharks brother all right love it love it love it love to see people um rise up grow and just become independently successful and with knowledge with everything guys it, it's such an awesome thing and uh and actually i was talking to another shop yesterday about helping them with their their youtube channel as well just passing on knowledge like i said guys that's what it's about one day you're going to be gone and it'd be you know a shame to not pass on the knowledge you've acquired to help out those around you you know that's what it should be about right there so all right let me see now then go and lock down his drag all right oh that's nice <laughs> that's nice i did everything but i forgot to move the braid over all right 19 watching 13 thumbs up not bad but y'all yes y'all can definitely do better come on we need some more thumbs up Let's see. Dude, is that some is that a treat right there? Is that a treat? Awesome. Bring it over here. I'm starving. <laughs> then I gotta go to the chiropractor, dude. My back is oh sore. I wouldn't say sore, like it's not sore. I'm, I'm like I can feel it in the bones, like I need to be readjusted and stuff. Woo, Jeff just knocked this one out of the park. I'm starving, guys, and he just brought some breakfast. Ooh, hey, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. All right, I guess. All right, guys, I'm going to stuff my face here for about a minute. Give me a sec. <laughs> Check-in for the tournament this afternoon is 5.30. So we're going to try and get over there around 2, maybe to get in line, because we don't know how many people are going to be there trying to check in. And we definitely want to be some of the first ones there and make sure everything's taken care of and sorted. So. Oh, is this 
one right here. That Can I have a, one of those mocha cappuccinos from in there when you come back? Okay. That blue avid, is that the one you got the tiger on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's, that's, the one, that's the one I caught the both 12 footers on. That tiger that got on the newspaper? Mm-hmm. Yep. Because I noticed the rod says breakaway. Is that like the company breakaway or by Nick? Well, Nick. He wanted to get into the shark gear, and I needed somebody to build me shark rods. So I, I went through the books, and I looked for what I wanted, and I gave him, like, to order all of this and build it for me. So that's what he did. But as you can tell, the top part of the, the foam, right there on the grip, when you go to the top part toward the roller, you can see those lines? Yeah. That's from the rod bending over, and it shows that that roller was too high up. So we had to go back, readjust it, on the next series so that way the line doesn't ever touch the rod but that shows you how much bow i had on those on those tigers and yeah i saw that video like from beginning to end mm -hmm. like maybe three times all right nice I, I've, I seen, like, I've seen i've seen it about that many times too i was like i paused it and i kind of took a screenshot and zoomed and i'm like that's a breakaway mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yes, a lot better, a lot better, a lot better. Awesome. Well, we'll see you when you get here, Roger. Yeah, I'll still definitely be here for a bit. I've got to, like I said, finish up this reel, go on to the next reel, the mine. You know what? I'm going to go a little slower. I'm going to drop it down in gear. And actually, I'm going to show you all something real quick, guys, for those of you all that are still asking about the, the braid. All right, so you can see here, let me see if it, it'll focus in a little better. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on, focus. Focus. There it goes. Oh, being a pain in the butt. All right, you see how it's laying down? It looks like thread side by side. What it's, laying, what it's doing is when it's under pressure, it's round, but when, or when it's straight away, it's round. But when you lay it down against something, it goes flat. So it squeezes out any gappage there, so you don't have a PVC effect. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Continue spooling, and I'm going to show you here in a little bit how it, it really starts to take effect. I wish I could hold it down here and do the same thing at the same time, but I got to do... I need both my hands to control the upper lever and the low, um, you know, my braid here because I'm checking it for any frayage or anything that the customer may need to be worried about. Oh, I forgot to ask y'all guys, is the video footage really clear, guys? I need to, to ensure that it's clear. I don't want it to be fogged up through the whole video. It's kind of like this. Hmm? Kind of a little blurry, but that's because it is a live video. Hmm. All right, let me, let me just make sure. Hold on. I definitely could see a difference yeah, too. It's 720. Yeah, there you go. Good deal. Okay, I'm glad I stopped there and checked it. And thank you, Sean, give, giving a sub to Jacked Up Leatherworks. How many subs are you at right now, uh, Jacked Up?
honey. Awesome. And when did you start your channel, brother? Whoa. What happened there? Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was going too far right and it was going left. <laughs> but I'm gonna fix that real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Good deal. Sorry guys, y'all are calling when I'm live. I'm not gonna answer because I am a little busy. Awesome, good job brother. So happy for you. Look forward to seeing your works coming up on there and how you, how you do it. <laughs> it's all a blur once it gets going, that's for sure. Just remember, keep putting content out there, knowledge, and it will grow. People will be drawn to you. And you got some great work, but you got to put it out so people can see, brother. That I have. <laughs> awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Good deal. Yep, yep. So, ran into Zeke at um, Peter Barber Pizza last night. He had his, um, his team there. They were receiving their trophies. Thank you, boss. Yes, sir. Have a good day. You too. Y'all be safe out there. Right, and uh, so he stopped me and we started talking a little bit. And so I felt it in my heart to, to do a little deal. So I donated ice cream for the team and some of the parents too. So yeah. yep. glad they enjoyed it. We were celebrating my daughter's 12th birthday. She's about to become a teenager. I think she's already 20. <laughs> But, yep. <laughs> Dude, I might even put those videos up here at the shop, brother, just to check them out while I'm working, doing whatever I got to do here. I look forward to that. I, I like seeing art created. It, it really does do some magical things in you and stuff like that. So. Yes, sir. Those are important, boss. Those really are important. You know? And even then, just, you know, putting it over your workstation while you're creating whatever you're creating, you know, it, it really does give people an insight into the amount of labor that you put into creating your pieces of work, you know. It's, it's really nice, you know. I think back of that artist who used to do the paintings on Saturday mornings, um, 
I wouldn't say when I was really bored, but when I wanted to watch them, I would watch those and just see how he would create those masterpieces of scenery and everything, talking about his artwork. Reminded me of Hunters, how they would talk so light on the channel and stuff like that, so. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And just a little heads up to what will help your channel grow real quick while you're in the starting phases. Share the links to like Facebook, to Instagram, you know, any other of the other um, social medias just to get your numbers up there and stuff like that. But if you happen to see one of them videos really blow up, you got to take it off after you start getting monetized. And the reason being, because say you get, you know, 30 million views or whatever, you won't get paid for it. Uh, YouTube and Facebook had a falling out years ago so now they won't pay you for the the views that are created by the cross um, like that now if you're just sharing your youtube channel link and with the title to your your video in there that'd probably be the best way because then you can talk about it on there and and still get your youtube channel there and then they have to search for it once they are on your youtube channel this is a great way to build up your um your subscriber base and your watch time at the same time and also too those video shorts are a real help one of our video shorts is already at uh two and a quarter million so it, it's yeah we're going on to our that one's probably going to hit three million here in the next several months so i'm really excited on that one um i'm actually going to do a little video short here shortly as soon as i get off the reel and post it to show you all the um the growth that video has had but also at the same time what it's done with our channel when uh that one and another video were hitting their million at the same time so good morning bluegrass mondo how you doing boss Sorry guys, I'm almost done with my sandwich. I've been hogging, wolfing it down. Pen Squall 60, I have not used it. I want to say I have spooled it, but that's not enough for me to judge the reel, guys. So um, the only reels I will judge are the ones that I've actually discovered something while spooling. I'll, I'll show you that, but again, that's not really gonna show a whole bunch when it's under pressure, taking drag off a reel and stuff like that. So. Awesome. Thank you for that report, Toby. Nice. Yeah, because for some reason it doesn't show me how many thumbs up where we're at. Only the viewer count right there, so. getting ready for this weekend and you got 1210 yards of braid on here I'm thinking it's 130 pound test so and then the mono is probably 150 or 200 pound test so I'm going to keep it rolling are you kayaking this or are you gonna be jet skiing okay oh you're gonna feel the weight of this line bro <laughs> coming through the water it's amazing the thicker the line how, how how much more you feel it when you're trying to kayak out and stuff and yeah it, it just feels real heavy 
that's another thing too for me when I switch over from mono to braid I could see how much easier it was for me to kayak out and get through the waves and everything else too because right there is when you really need the ability to cut through those waves is um, when it's real rocking through the first second and third sandbar here you know you got to be able to move through them quick the most dangerous one is the third bar that's where the waves they get monster and you know I've, I've made it over them and when I got into the perfect blue water when I thought I made it and I was home free a wave literally picked me up right there and smashed me back into the third bar and yeah that, that really sucked because that's where I, my feet got twisted around the leader and everything else and lucky for me my long line clip was there I was able to unhook myself and make it back to shore so. All right, so for rods, I think I'm taking five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm probably taking 12 to 15 rods. And then once we are there, we're going to check what the rod limit is. For most of these tournaments here in Texas, for land based shark fishing, the only one that I know has a limit of how many rods you can use is Sharkathon, which I don't fish anymore. Um, but the other tournaments, it was kind of the same thing. They would have a limit of the amount of rods you can use at one time. You can have the extra ones on the by chance that one rod went down, you can move on to the next one. So that's why I take everything I can. And then once I get there, I figure out what I'm going to do with the game plan they have set up for us. So, all right, guys. So the reel is filled up and you're at 1,454 yards of line total. So you got 250 yards of uh, mono? Of mono. Yeah, that's gotta be 200 pound test right there. So pretty thick stuff for sure. Yep, oh, I'm always gonna take the backups, guys. All right, guys, so I gotta deal with this customer. I gotta let y'all go, and then I'm gonna reset back up here in a bit so I can do start doing my spooling and show y'all the HXWs. Stay tuned for that. And remember, guys, we're going on our 20,000 subscriber mark. Be sure you're commenting on that. Be sure you're getting your comments multiple times on each video and go through as many videos as you can, guys. And just a heads up, I've been hard, hard working with the guys in the back. I hadn't really had a chance to be online answering all the comments. I've probably got 500 or so comments that are unanswered, but I am getting to them. I will work on them this weekend when I get a chance to, if I have internet service. If I don't, then y'all keep rocking it and I will check them out when I get off the beach on Sunday and into Monday and so forth. Um, and yes, y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all in a bit. I love man,